ever stumbled upon that little checkbox that says, I'm not a robot before you can proceed on a website? It's our digital world's way of making sure you're human. Now imagine a whole system built on that concept, but even more advanced. With the advancing AI bots and other concerns, it's not that easy anymore. Now if you're a human, you have to prove it. That's what Sam Altman's world chain is all about. Just recently, Sam Altman announced its own blockchain eye scanning project, World Chain. It is a new layer two blockchain network designed to prioritize human transactions over bots. Well, what does it mean to prove ourselves? And why is he doing this? Is he hiding something? Let's find out. Sam Altman known for his forward-thinking ideas, believes that artificial intelligence will eventually handle most tasks and jobs. This shift could lead to a future where humans don't need to work in the traditional sense and can instead focus on their passions and interests. However, this raises the question of how people will earn a living if AI performs all the work. Now to address this, Altman envisions a system of universal basic income which would provide a regular, unconditional sum of money to everyone, regardless of their job or profession. The idea is to ensure financial stability for all, even in a world run by AI. But with the rise of AI, there's a risk that people might fake their identities to take advantage of such a system. To prevent this, Altman has proposed a solution, a new project called WorldCoin. WorldCoin aims to use biometric verification like eye scans, to confirm that benefits are going to real humans and not AI or fraudulent entities. This way, the UBI can be distributed fairly and securely, ensuring that it benefits actual people. But here, the question arises, what benefit is Sam Altman getting from all of this? Well, according to him, he's doing it all for our secure future, for us human beings, and he isn't getting any benefit from it. But according to me, the idea of such detailed personal data collection might seem a bit risky, right? Just think for a while. Why is someone doing it without any benefit? So, is he hiding something from all of us and secretly doing something unpredictable? Or is he just a good man helping all of us? Only the future will tell. Well, recent news is that WorldCoin is launching its own blockchain called WorldChain. This new blockchain will be a layer two network on Ethereum and is set to be released this summer. WorldChain will prioritize users who scan their eyeballs to get a digital World ID passport. This setup continues WorldCoin's aim to ensure each user is a verified human, helping to keep out bots in an age where AI is getting more advanced. Previously, WorldCoin just used a decentralized app or a set of smart contracts on Ethereum. Moving to their own chain means the developers can have more control and possibly lower costs for users. Verified humans will get benefits like priority access to the blockchain and some free transaction fees, known as gas. WorldChain will use a framework called the OP Stack, which is also used by other projects like Coinbase's base network. Transactions on WorldChain will be bundled and then processed on Ethereum, which helps keep costs down. Well, a person from the development team, Tiago Sada, mentioned that reducing gas fees helps make the network more accessible, but often increases bot activity, which then drives up costs again. The world chain will allow anyone to send transactions, but those from verified humans will get processed faster. Now, if you're wondering how it works, then let me tell you that WorldCoin is known for its unique chrome sphere called the Orb. This orb scans your eyes and generates a code that represents your identity. This code is securely stored on a decentralized blockchain, safeguarding it against duplication or fraud, so claims Sam Altman. Using the orb not only verifies your identity, but also grants you free digital coins known as WLD. These coins can be used for purchasing goods and services or even saved as a financial asset for the future. Altman has big aspirations for WorldCoin suggesting it could drastically increase economic opportunity, scale a reliable solution for distinguishing humans from AI online while preserving privacy, 
enable global democratic processes, and eventually show a potential path to AI-funded UBI. Public opinion on WorldCoin is divided. Many are enthusiastic about the project, viewing it as a gateway to free financial resources, a more connected global economy, and a robust method for online identity verification. This group sees WorldCoin as a groundbreaking initiative with the potential to better the world. For instance, a user expressed their excitement on social media, saying, Just got my World ID and some WLD tokens. This is the future of identity and money. Thank you at WorldCoin. Yet there's a significant number of people who are skeptical. Concerns primarily revolve around the security of biometric data, the governance by the WorldCoin Foundation, and the ethical implications concerning user exploitation. One critical article highlighted these fears. WorldCoin's digital ID gambit draws fans, critics, Privacy experts are concerned about the WorldCoin's collection of biometric data and how exactly the project will keep and protect that data going forward. Despite these concerns, over 10 million individuals across more than 167 countries have been onboarded using the orb at various promotional events. The transition to World Chain aims to scale this user base even further, promising faster and more cost-effective transactions. By the way, what do you think of WorldCoin? Do you think it's a revolutionary idea or a dangerous experiment? And would you guys scan your eyes with the orb and join the WorldCoin community? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Check out these videos on your screen for more interesting and AI-related content.